Okay, since you're allowed to use a calculator for this problem, I thought I would show you how to use a Desmos uh, graph that calculates Riemann sums, both left-hand, right-hand, and midpoint sums. Now, this picture right here is for f of x equals x squared plus x from 1 to 6. There's the 1, there's the 6, using 50 rectangles. And this is the calculation of the sum of the areas of those rectangles. <clears throat> you can see that it looks like, uh, well, right here, 91.175 is what we get with 50 rectangles to represent this area. And that's a little bit of an overestimate because here's the actual area, 89.16666, repeating. <clears throat> question is, how do we use Desmos to actually set this up? And I'll go to Desmos, and then eventually I'll replace this x squared plus x with 3 radical x. Okay, so here we go to Desmos. <clears throat> Here's the f of x function, x squared plus x. We can enter the left endpoint, which is 1, letter A. B is 6, the right-hand endpoint. Let me move this out of the way. And then the number of intervals. So if I reduce the number of intervals to five, uh, you can get a better picture of what the rectangles look like. And now the estimate is 110, which is way overestimate. If I change this to 50, uh, I've got 91.175. And down here, let me move this up here. Um, right here, there's the actual value. And if I increase the number of rectangles to 500, I'll get even closer to the actual area. More rectangles, the closer we get to the actual area. <clears throat> this C value controls whether you have right-hand endpoints or left-hand endpoints. Let me change this back to 50. Okay, and now if you use left-hand endpoints, looks like we've got an underestimate. All right. Now, I'll show you how I change this to do g of x. I'm going to change this function to 3 square root of x. And I'm going to have a left endpoint of 0. a right-hand endpoint of 8. Uh, there we go. And we're going to take this to a 100 rectangles or 100 intervals. Now you can't hardly see the little rectangles, but there they are. This is uh, left-hand endpoints. I want to go to right end. By the way, there's the comparison. I go to right-hand endpoints, really close. Midpoint rule, uh, even closer. Okay, so midpoint gives a better approximation than either right or left. If you actually have to show the calculations uh, for the area of each rectangle, this little table will do it. And uh, since we have 50 intervals, you could add additional rows here. Do you want to add, take this all the way to uh, 100 rectangles or zero from zero to 99? I doubt it. But if you had to, this column right here is what we're summing up. So for example, the area of the 85th rectangle or the 86th is 0 0.67, 6, 0.627, et cetera. Okay, so the areas of these rectangles are fairly small, but if you add them together, uh, this is what you get right here, 45.25. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions on how to use this, post a comment. I will be posting a link to this graph in the final answer. There you go. Mm -hmm.